Hey everyone, I'm about to go to Napa to do a little bit of shopping and hopefully the places I want to go to are not shut down. It's somewhat sunny but it's been a rainy day and if you can't tell my allergies are just out of control, this eye just keeps watering. And I think it's because of this plant that's growing by my apartment and I'm usually really good at identifying plants but I'm not really sure what this is. I think it's just really irritating me. So um, I'm going to turn you around and if you know what this is, uh, please comment below so I'm just really curious. Um, but hopefully it stops with the pollen and I start to feel a lot better. Okay, what the heck is this? There's so much uh, pollen coming from this, whatever it is, and it is really uh, causing me a ton of trouble. But I saw a ton of yellow pollen all over my trash bins and um, I think it's this. Oh, miserable. Errand number one is drop my books off at the Napa um, County Public Library. And uh, they have a little drop window, so that's really convenient. I had the audiobook for The Magician's Lie, and this one was pretty good. I typically read a book and have a book going in my car, so two books at the same time. And then a couple cookbooks. The healthy gut, flat stomach drinks, and then the autoimmune protocol. Autoimmune is not a problem for me, I was just curious about it. Anything with a meal plan, I'm always curious about. And I'm reading The ABC Murders by Agatha Christie at the moment. And currently I'm listening to Tidelands by Philippa Gregory. And that's pretty good too. Sea salt caramel filled baking truffles. Freaking amazing. And espresso. Oh, I want to bake, but then I don't want the actual baked good because then I'll eat it all. Whoa, giant pyramid of dark chocolate slab. This packaging is so pretty. I hardly ever buy beer, but this one's seriously tempting me. Tart cherry, uh, banana bisa. I love this bracelet. How cute are these tropical clips? I love all the hair doodads that are coming out nowadays. I don't like my current foundation. So I'm going to give this a try. And then Target. No hand sanitizer. Barely any hand washes. The toilet paper section. Completely bare. This is creepy. Well, I'm back home and I'm really glad to be home because that shopping trip was kind of tough because just so many people seemed extremely panicked uh, and I'm not saying that's wrong it just definitely made for an uncomfortable shopping trip I did go a few places and I want to show you the items I picked up to help me prepare for these uncertain times and I think the best way for me to show you is to turn you around uh, instead of lift up each item and show you and explain but if you prefer for me to explain them while I'm facing you then let me know but otherwise I kind of like the format of laying everything out because I feel like I get to show more detail to you so let me know below what you prefer uh, so these are items from uh, Marshall's Home Goods so um, I got this mount with suction cups 
because I really enjoyed talking with you today like you were a friend in the car with me and I wanted to see if that would work and I don't buy expensive wallets and purses I just don't do it but my wallet has some holes in it and I don't know anything about this brand Enzo and Um, but only $9.99 and it has a pocket for my phone and a wrist strap so under certain circumstances I could just take this in and it has um, some compartments here and here a zipper area for change and then both sides has areas for cards and then um, in previous uh, videos I was setting up a cute tea plate in my kitchen and I haven't really done that since Christmas was over so I wanted to do that for springtime so I kind of got some mix and match candles and um, cocktail napkins these are Martha Stewart floral and this doesn't say the brand but um, two candles this is a cotton flower one and it just smells really light and fresh and then this cute one I don't know anything about Ray Dunn. I feel like sometimes I live under a rock, but it's a lemon meringue and it kind of smells like fruity pebbles to me. So um, these would actually be really cute planters for some of my succulents, which was another motivator for picking those up, especially this one and make a cute little succulent planter once the candles all burnt out. And I got some makeup items. Um, I don't normally buy two foundations at once, but these were such tremendous deals I went ahead and did it. Um, this Bare Minerals was a huge bargain at $5.99. And then the NYX Foundation HD Studio, I've never tried this, $2.99, that is a deal. And I got it in nude, so it might be too light for me. If you look at the two packages, the color representation is totally different. I have a yellow olive undertone, so it's kind of hard for me to find foundation. I'll give both of them a go, and I hope they have much better wear than that Ulta. I got some bronzers. The bronzer I was using was the milk chocolate one, and I made a video including that. I think it's Too Faced is the brand, and if you look in the upper right hand corner, I'll post the link that you can follow for what that is and this Nicole Miller is almost the identical color of that one and then I got this quad from elf from the clearance section and it was only two dollars and it has some blushier colors and some contourier colors and um, again I don't normally get two but this was on clearance so I thought it might be kind of fun to try it I got a Dove Beauty cream and I love the fragrance of Original Dove. And you can buy smaller containers of this at Dollar Tree for a dollar piece. And this is, I think, three times that um, size. So it has a lovely feminine floral aroma, which I like. And perfect for this time is Relax, which is a little aromatherapy air freshener. I use a mister for essential oils. Um, and this was an incredible deal because I saw a package of three oils for this price, which was $7.99. And these are three different, or these are six different oil mixes. So those will be fun to diffuse into my apartment. And I got quite a few different food items. And for that tea tray, I got a few different options. This one was just sort of like a self care purchase. I thought the idea was cute little pyramids and they'll be pretty on my tea tray. So this is a wellness collection with different, um, I guess, detox blends in little pyramids. And then this was a tremendous deal. So I think it's like 96 different tea bags on clearance for $6. That's insane. And then I'm, uh, an, a last, my last tea was uh, just a classic Earl Grey. I love black teas. I definitely prefer them. And then I'm meeting some girlfriends tonight to watch a movie at home. And so I got a couple snacks, salt and pepper, peanuts, and these, I guess, Scandinavian rye buttermilk crackers to go with our cheese. You saw these snacks earlier. I got some chimes, peppermint, 
to help deal with um, my my allergies a little bit more naturally just to kind of keep my throat from getting too dry and then I'm planning on making brownies for my co-workers for St. Patrick's Day so I got peppermint patties to put in the brownie mix I always love jazzing up brownie mix and I recently posted a video making brownies and I'll probably post another video because why not and then the last two items a skinny syrup salted caramel mocha just as like a little treat and one of my staples the avocado oil spray so this was uh, Marshall slash home goods I got a few items from Target finally I found a store that had eggs so I got two cartons so I got two packs if you bought um, more than one of the Archer Farms it was a dollar off for each bag and I got s'mores and caramel macchiato and no toilet paper, no Kleenex, but they did have some mini packs of these um, tissues. So that's good for me right now with the allergies. I am not going to have time to meal prep for tomorrow, so I just got some rice that I can have for my lunch tomorrow. I'm just running around so freaking much finding all this stuff today. And then I love to keep true lime in my desk at work this was the only flavor there they also had the lime peach but I hate artificial peach so I got crystal light which I don't normally get and then um, if I'm craving a little bit of sweetness in my tea or coffee I got some stevia so not that exciting but this is what I got at Target okay now we're in my kitchen and I can show you my small uh, grocery outlet haul so a couple things that they did have, thankfully, was some hand soap. I got two vanilla and two lavender. And then the only dish uh, detergent they had was this giant gain one. And uh, I really don't want to store this huge bottle, but um, that's all that was available. I already have one of these beers chilling. I'm going to go to my uh, friend's house tonight, and I wanted her to try it with me. So I just um, chilled one of them. But the... Um, Berliner Weisse uh, Tart Cherry Beer from North Coast Brewing, which is one of our favorite breweries. I got some produce, just some salad, which I'll probably have um, for tomorrow. And I'll have that with that brown rice from Target. Cherry tomatoes, probably some tuna. It won't be the most amazing lunch, but it will do the trick. Um, I'm kind of about potatoes right now, so I kind of plowed through my potatoes that I got from Imperfect Foods, so another bag. And then I'm also all about kiwis lately as a nice fruit alternative. So a big box of kiwi. And then in case I get quarantined, I want to bake. And I saw these Cherry Brook Kitchen baking mixes, grain-free chocolate chip cookie, grain-free pancake and waffle. I thought they would be fun to try. And then, assuming I don't get quarantined by St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to make for my coworkers some dark chocolate Ghirardelli. Um, these are a little different than the ones I made a few days ago. I used uh, double the double chocolate, which is the red package. And I got dark chocolate because I knew I was going to be mixing um, dark chocolate coated peppermint patties into it. So um, I hope they like it. They, they've never tasted my baking because I've only been working there about a month. So a little surprise treat. Baby bells for snacks. More coffee. Can't have enough of this stuff. I'm going to be going to my friend's house so I got some snacks. These Likey crackers are so good. Um, they kind of remind me of those veggie chips I had earlier. Very lightweight. Um, sesame lavash crackers and some Merlot cheese cubes so that should be nice and of course another thing you need in an emergency is a giant block of cheese so um, this huge Kerrygold like two pound Bally Shannon cheddar um, and uh, that'll set me up for a while and finally some blue diamond pumpkin spice um, almonds. Alright, I just assembled my little snack tray. Uh, these are 21 day fix containers. I used to follow that program and now I just don't. But they make a great snack tray. 
And I kind of harlequin them by going diagonals. Pumpkin spice almonds, salt and pepper peanuts, the rice crackers, the Merlot cheese, the sort of Scandinavian-ish crackers, and the lavash. So I think that turned out pretty cute. Well, I think that just about sums up this day. I feel a little more secure. I feel like I'm normally fairly prepared for the unexpected, thanks to, um, honestly, my parents. They, they taught me how to sort of deal with uh, things like this. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe. And cheers from wine country. Thank you.